The Engineering and Computer Science Library is located in Toronto and is part of Sanford Fleming Building. The building consists of many windows that offer natural light, and the library was designed so that the study area and group work area is well balanced. However, the library shows weakness in terms of space usage due to its relatively small capacity. For example, the aisle is narrow, making it inconvenient for people both sitting and standing. People's discomfort is more evident on second floor because of the overloaded tables and carrels. Some tables are placed right beside the bookshelves, which makes it inconvenient for people both sitting and standing. Furthermore, the low ceiling makes the library appear as smaller in size, creating discomfort for the student within. On the contrary, the New York Public Library in New York, which opened in 1911 and designed by architects John Mervyn Currie and Thomas Hastings, is the second largest library, providing tons of study space. This building consists of several gigantic UV filtering arched windows that are arrayed on two facades that are facing each other, allowing natural light to flood into the interior. The space is efficiently constructed, including a rosemary reading room, to the extent that the library can hold a maximum of 636 people. It can not only hold more than 600 people, but also more than 51 million resources including books, ebooks, collections, and DVDs without creating a tight space. In addition, 50 feet high ceiling also contributes it making library a spacious and grand place.